be doing a 30 beauty questions tag while we the do our makeup. Next question is, is there a brand that you absolutely can't stand? Absolutely cannot? Um, yeah. Oh, God. I don't think, to be honest, I don't think there is a brand that I can't stand because the only brands that I usually use is Sephora and MAC. Um, there's no hate toward this brand because I don't even know if they're going to listen to my comment. But, um... I don't know, I just don't like the milk brand a lot. I got the um, mascara, I got the little blush thing, and I got the primer, and they were not the best. I love their skincare products, but their makeup products are not the best. And again, like, I'm not trying to throw shade or anything like that. If you like milk, you like milk. Probably because of my skin, but I've tested a lot of milk products, and they're not the best for me. So that's probably the only one that I would say. Going on, moving on to the next question. Do you avoid certain ingredients in cosmetics like parabens or sulfates? Oh, yeah. So I definitely... Do. Yeah, I do. Like, I definitely look for... I didn't know you, that. You buy products with, like... I. You, we're not really, like, those, like those picky people with ingredients yeah like i mean no, we look at the product the, but I again look at the product yeah it's nice. i don't really look like ingredients or for me like, like i, I kind of make sure if there's no parabens and like uh cruelty free and stuff like that delia you probably like seen all those things too right probably yeah like in your makeup product i remember talking to you about um oh really yeah it's like like the in the back uh, back of here it would say like parabens and stuff like that it, it, it'll tell you the ingredients it should be on here yeah, but clearly don't look at that guys yeah, actually yeah. but again this is not meaning that delina like buys products that like hurt the environment and, like yeah, stuff yeah like obviously that. i don't she knows what she's buying guys like just saying because um like more of like we are not those picky people but at the same time we know what we're buying kind yeah of. we don't want to hurt like the environment yeah. or anything like that so the this next one. question is do you have a favorite wait sorry uh -huh. do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup um i would go with sephora i mean guys we don't really have too much makeup places to buy exactly. makeup it's either sephora or walmart or shoppers drug mart mm. or what else um, then they have their little like Mac store and the, oh yeah like, Mac Nick's store, store and our Nick stores and stuff like that. We don't have like Ulta and stuff like that in mm -hmm. Canada, so we're kind of like into like a small loop. But we basically I I basically buy my drug stores from Shoppers or Walmart, and then I buy my um, high end products from Sephora. So. Yeah. I think we, Delina can also relate because we go shopping together. Exactly, yeah. So, um, next question is Do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep a certain routine? Yeah, I'm very open to skincare products because I want to yeah. learn more about skincare. Um, I have like three products that I use every other day so i'm really open like i really want to try like the friend the fresh soy cleanser i want to try the wishful like masks and stuff like that from huda beauty so i'm really open to i don't really have a certain like thing that i use but i use like a multiple brands for my skincare what no I, I think i keep the same routine like i know if i try some new like skincare product it might not like uh be the best one so like if i try one and i actually like it i just stick to that like that's the only thing that i think I, the I current buy. one the current one for you is like sir ives right st ives yeah i oh, love saint their ives, their products they're they're i know people on tiktok and stuff said like it's not good but yeah maybe like that's i mean just for not them. just like I, I like that product so i will try i will keep that product for me like personally it's not like i hate it but it just doesn't work with my skin my skin feels awful when i use that brand i got the green tea oh, yeah. and it's not the best i've talked about it with Alina. i kind exactly. of talk about everything <laughs> so i don't so it, like it's like not the the best thing that i like the start st ives but yeah. I, basically my brands are probably cetaphil um cetaphil um belief cleanser the purity and there's one more a uh, neutrogena mm, those yeah. are like the only four i use um but i really want to try fresh and wishful so comment down below your reviews on all that and the next question i think it was 
favorite bath um, and body bath brand? And body brand. Um, bath and body brand. Um, I think well, I would go with like um, bath and body. So for lotion, Saint Ives. for lotion, is that what they mean? Like bath and body for lotion? Yeah, I'm guessing. Lotion like, is like what you use, more of like. I know Saint Ives have like. Where you can, yeah. while you're, like, taking a bath, you can use, they have certain products for that. Yeah. And I know for lotion, they also have products, and say eyes, it's just for it's me, a nice brand. Personally, personally, for me, um, I use, um, um, what's the brand I use? The cream brand? It, I don't really remember the cream brand. But, it, you know, the one that's outside there, like, it's, like, coconut smell. Oh, it, the that's green like, bottle. The green bottle. That's. Selene? The green bottle, like on the stool. Outside. Okay, no, I can't remember it, but it has a nice little coconut. I love when there's like smells. Yeah. So definitely I love that the smelling or one. Vaseline um and Dove yeah. and Olay. It's like kind of all over the place. <laughs> Not the best at answering this question. Mm. You could only buy from one brand. Which brand would you choose? That's I would say Sephora collection. That's kind of hard for me because Sephora collections all I the have way for me. so many different. But if I was to buy it, I would definitely buy from L'Oreal because all their products are good. Like I use their mascara. I've 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 heard so much about their foundation. I I own their concealer, and like I feel like everything is really good. So mainly, this I would one is that. what brand do you think has the best packaging? So, for me, as I was saying, it would probably be Huda Beauty because, like, I love Huda Beauty. Like, it all has, like, the same packaging, like, the black and the white. But it kind of, like, whenever you look at the product, it um, you can be like, oh, that's Huda Beauty. You can refer back to exactly. everything. And at the same time, like, the packaging looks, like, cute. And, like, I don't think I've ever had spills from Huda Beauty. Like, I opened, like, this setting powder, the Huda Beauty setting powder. And it's really cool. And I also love their logo. It's like super nice. It's like black. Yeah. I mean, it's white. I actually writing. like their packaging. Yeah. So I think, yeah, same for me. I think Huda Beauty? Beauty's like yeah. packaging is just really nice. Yeah. And I also love their skincare brand, Wishful. It's also cute. And their bottle is nice too. Next one. Which celebrity always has great makeup? This is kind of hard because all celebrities like kind of have their own makeup artists rather than us doing our own makeup they kind yeah. of do their they have other people do their makeup but again i would definitely probably say uh kim kardashian or kylie jenner i was just gonna say kylie jenner yeah i actually like i really think i like both of their brands kim and kylie's brand so i think they both look nice i think i can refer more to kim than kylie because kim goes for more natural subtle like brown 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 tone nude tone makeup whereas kylie kind of goes out of her way to look herself like they have yeah, their own personalities exactly. so basically i would say kim i would say kylie to be yeah honest. I, yeah again there goes the car jenner question <laughs> is um, do you belong to any online makeup communities well um, no we don't really um but again like me are just the sisters like we kind of have our what do we call it style group chat of where like where we put like inspirations in oh, the chat oh yes yeah so like that i don't know if you call that a big big community I mean, but exactly. it's just four of us um but it, i mean we could create an online makeup community and you guys can join if you want yeah okay next question five favorite beauty gurus Okay, I will go first because I watch a ton of makeup videos. Oh my god. Okay, so the first one, definitely James Charles. I love how he does his yes. makeup. Um, so second nice. one, Tati uh, Westbrook. I love how she actually kind of stopped YouTube a little bit, but I love her makeups. I literally watch her makeup videos at school, like whenever I'm at lunch or I'm English class. Like I take my time to watch the videos. It's really good. Next, I would definitely say I love when Kim does her makeup. Like, she has her own YouTube video slash Instagram, IGTV. I watch all that, so, like, it's really cool. Her. And then um, there was one person that does their makeup really good. I can't really think about it. Okay, I'll say my other two, and Delina will go in with hers right now because I kind of forgot what I Um, To be honest, <laughs> I'll be... This is my honest answer, so I'm don't really watch people do YouTube's. I mean, video. Um, I know you. I watch YouTube videos, but it's more of like not makeup. It's 
so. I mean, but you do watch James Charles. I watched James Charles. I actually watched one of his videos today, too. Um, uh, what was... There's the Huda Beauty, um... The girl who does the Huda Beauty thing. I don't know her name, to be honest. Oh, I don't really know her name. I call her <laughs> But yeah, I like her videos. They're, like, that's where I started to see how to contour the nose and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, you watch her videos? Right? Yeah, I watch her videos. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know if you call this a makeup module or, like, a guru, but Maddie Ziegler, I watch her. I she doesn't post too much, but I, like, after a Morphe palette came out, so much people i mean she did like so much videos on using her products and i really love her products let me so be honest i just watch i sometimes just watch random people's you um makeup videos i don't only go for like a certain like oh yeah and i don't know i don't know if a lot of people i mean a lot of people probably know her by like a specific ad i can't really remember what ad but i like um ready to glow hamali mystery i like her videos oh yeah her, and casual beauty uh, I love her makeup videos as well. Whatever, whoever we said right now, we'll also link it down below so you guys can ju go check them out. But you have like a few. You don't really have a lot, right? No. Yeah. I basically watch so much makeup videos. My subscription is full of that. So probably that's why I know more. Okay, next one. Do you uh, like uh, multifunctional body products like... I mean, multifunctional <laughs> body products. <laughs> multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains. To be... Oh, to be <laughs> I was reading some other question. <laughs> My bad, guys. But to be really honest, getting back to the point, um, I think I have this one that's a, like a lip and a cheek, and I hate those type of products. Oh, I don't I'd have rather, anything like that. I'd actually. rather purchase. I'd rather purchase other stuff like, like that. If it's just for the lips, I just I want it only for the lips. If it's for the cheeks, I only want it for the cheeks. Like I'm not gonna buy a product and start using it for. Um, something else sometimes though like I'm um, one of the lipsticks that I bought I think it was like a gold color and I tried it on my lips and I was like uh, it's not the best so I started using it as a bit of like highlight but it wasn't the best so I don't really use it but I think that might have been the only product that I ever used that was for the lip but I ended up using it as highlight oh yeah so like um for me like i have so many stories about that but um i hate those those two in one products i might waste my i might as well just waste my money and do all that i stuff. think i'm done my makeup should i just put settings sure yeah. you could do settings, spray um okay let's go on to the next question um are you clumsy in putting your makeup um maybe yes you know maybe so um actually sometimes i am I feel like I know my makeup, my makeup, but then like if someone like wants to help me, uh, they better be here on time or they better do it on time or I'm going to get cheesed. So that's, like, that's more need, of the clumsy like, I am. I, for me, it's more of like, if I'm going to put makeup, I need like time to put makeup. And if I'm doing it in a rush, I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to throw on lipstick. I don't care how I look other than that. <laughs> yeah, Delia does that so often. She's like, bro, I don't have a lot of time. Especially so when, we, like, when I go out and I come and like take shower and then they're like, okay, we're going somewhere and I'm like... When was this planned? So I just like throw on lipstick and I'm like, okay, yeah, I think I have so many days like that for Delina. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically that's what for me, Delina. You can read the next questions because I'm gonna finish so up. So because I'm like kind of done my makeup, I'm just gonna ask the questions and well, answer I'm almost them done, and guys. Just hold you guys. Up. Um, do you use makeup base or primer for the eyes? Yeah, I do. No. So for my moisturizers, again, the only one I have, like, so many different ones that I use. Um, for eye primer, sometimes I like to use, um, a concealer. I feel like that's Yeah, really sometimes good. I wear a concealer, but again, I don't really touch anything near my eyes most of the time because... I don't think Delina wears, like, a lot of eyelash... I mean, um, um, um... Because of allergy eyeshadow, reactions, you don't wear I don't wear, like, eyeshadow, I don't wear, like... Some, sometimes I only wear mascara. Even right now, I wore mascara, and I like I can feel my eyes are like itching, so I don't really touch my eyes. That's true. I don't wear eyeliner either. I know I'm just gonna wear blush. I'm almost done, guys. Next question. What question are we on? We're on question 27. How many hair products do you use on a typical day? I'm gonna blend this in, guys. Don't get shocked. Um, You're just. How, I don't, what was the question? I'm sorry, I was not listening. What was the how question? many hair products do you use on a typical day? Um, Depends on when I sh when I shower. I use um, Bumble and Bumble, like the volumizing spray, the Other thickening. 
like yeah thickening. the thickening spray other than that i don't use any other hair products well after my <laughs> hair dries like if i'm on a, like a second hair day or something like that i don't use any product for my hair but after i take a shower or I, w I use the dove shampoo and then after that i use the frizz eraser the strengthening um the thickening one that delina uses but i have a smaller bottle of that and then if i am straightening my hair or coloring my hair the protector thing from bumble and bubble so yeah, basically so bumble and bumble for me yeah what about you oh you already answered the yeah, question just the bumble and bumble bad. and to be honest i like instead of using dry shampoo i prefer just taking a shower i think like, i see i think i've tried dry shampoo yeah. and stuff and like i'm like no, it's yeah, it's actually best. super bad for like it's probably good on on like to just get out of your hair their nasty hair and look a little bit more nicer, but it actually does like super bad stuff to your hair. I was researching that like a couple of days ago, so Oh really? Yeah, it's not it's not the best. Okay, well I don't know, but I I don't use it now, so like um what next question? What do you apply first? Concealer or foundation? This is easy, like most of the i obviously go with foundation yeah and if i'm not wearing foundation that specific day i'm just sticking to con concealer and i do not apply concealer first and then foundation so a lot of people always do foundation i know a lot of people do concealer first but for me i feel like foundation first. yeah for me um days that i'm not wearing foundation i'll wear concealer yeah but it's always foundation and concealer for me. exactly so the second last question do you ever consider taking makeup classes not really i feel no. like we just learn on youtube or i learn through um her actually sometimes really i learn through you and shalina sometimes and to, and so most, me personally and i feel YouTube. like i feel like i feel like um i like kind of learn makeup off like youtube videos from yeah like people that i can relate to and that have the same like skin color as me yeah like so, i usually just search like on youtube i just search like makeup videos and i don't really look for like like popular ones i not meaning like celebrity videos i look for any ones that i just like the last question is what do you love about makeup um i love setting guys it just helps my face i just love wearing different color lipsticks to what, be honest what was the question sorry was just... what do you love about makeup mm, i love about makeup because i can like paint my face like i can do different eyeshadow looks i can do a lot different different stuff to my face and it, 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 it there's there's nothing that's like wrong about doing something yeah there's a never a right or wrong way it may look kind of weird, but that the weird is the good sometimes. The exactly. weird is the better, yeah. kind of. So I definitely say that like even if you make mistakes, there's really no problem regarding yeah. that. So that's definitely what I would say. And I, I, like as I mentioned earlier, I think I would say like the fact that we can wear like different color lipsticks, like I, again back to lipstick stories. I just love wearing different lipstick colors, to be honest. Yeah. By this video, if you guys needed to understand something, Delina would be a lip module soon and later. <laughs> if anyone wants to sponsor Delina for lips, go. No, no, Delina no, no, loves no, no. lips. You're just gonna... <laughs> she'll tell all her friends for you guys. Okay, that's good. So, yes. So, this is our end makeup looks. It's probably something that you kind of see in every single video because exactly. this is all we do. But, yeah, we actually had fun, like like actually like doing these questions we found this on the beauty yeah so if you guys want to check it out we'll put this link down below you can use this for your and i don't know if most too. of you guys noticed but i did cut my hair like almost two months ago yeah two months ago I, and i think, think it kind of grew a bit a little bit a little bit but i still like the short but like i don't know if i want to cut it again yeah so before we conclude this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when we post and we'll see you guys next week peace, peace out, out.